Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I'll be showing you the fastest way to take screenshots here in Windows 10. This will allow you to take and share those screenshots very quickly. So let's get started. Some of you may already know this, but the first method we'll be using is one where you don't have to remember key combinations. Instead, we'll access the screen snip tool very quickly by going to the bottom right and clicking on notifications. By default, this is available in Windows 10. And as long as you haven't moved your notifications, you'll see the screen snip option down here in notifications. You can, of course, add this in if you want by right clicking and hitting edit in case you don't have it. But if you do, just click the screen snip button. By default here, we get to see that now we can select any portion of the screen that we want. And that's the rectangular snip tool. We have the free form option as well available to us window snip so take a screenshot of an entire window we have the full screen which allows you to take pictures of multiple monitors anything available on your screen but we'll just use the rectangular snip and that just lets us if we click down we get to make a rectangle of what we want to take a screenshot of so i went ahead and took that screenshot by just letting go of the mouse and now we can see in the bottom right it says snip save to clipboard we can either click on this or just hit the hide button but if we click on this, this allows us to go ahead and make edits to our screenshot. So it's very quick and easy. We just hit save, and now we can save our screenshot wherever we want. I'm gonna save it here on the desktop, and that's it. I have a screenshot now available on my desktop. Make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Windows and Linux tips, as well as programming videos. The main reason I'm showing this today is I think that some people don't realize how easy it can be to take and share screenshots and probably haven't been using these two methods. Instead, they've probably been searching for the snip tool through the search bar. So let's do this again real quick. We go down here, hit screen snip, select the portion of the screen that we want to go ahead and snip. And now to make things even quicker, if I just wanted to go ahead and share this without actually making any modifications, I don't need to open it up because it is saved to my clipboard. What I can do is launch an application where I want to share my screenshot in and just paste. After I paste or hit control V, we'll see that the screenshot that I created can be shared now and now it has been quickly uploaded without making any types of edits to it. This is an extremely fast way of sharing your screenshots. So now let's look at a second method that's even quicker. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. So the main reason we checked out the notification section first before we got to this method is so we can reference it when we're making screenshots with the shortcut keys. All right, so method two, let's use the shortcut keys. If you press mod, Shift S, that will also bring up the snip tool, which allows you to create a screenshot, just like we did before, exact same thing, but it's even quicker. So if you're asking yourself what the mod key is, it's also known as the super key or the windows button on your keyboard. Go ahead and select the area where you want to take a screenshot of. And again, if you go to notifications or click here, you can edit your screenshot that you just took or you can make it even simpler. If you don't need to make any edits, go ahead and open up that app where you wanna share your image on, as long as it's able to share images, paste it in there, control V, and you can upload it just like I did here. And if you think this tip is something someone else can benefit from, make sure to share the video with them. We'll do it one last time here. So I'm gonna hit the Windows key, Shift and S. I'm going to take another screenshot of the Windows logo, click on it here, make a quick edit. Let me just highlight some of this, save it and, create a name, screenshot, and I'm done. I have another screenshot here on the background and I even made a quick edit to it. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you on another video. Thanks for watching.